booth uh, or uh, at the iZone, and uh, Ilya is going to uh, tell us what the products uh, you have at the, at the booth. For sure. So yeah, so this is, uh, um, our company's name is Senso, and we develop uh, basically a new type of touch sensitive um, touch sensor, which is force sensitive. Um, and uh, so you can see as I put my hand down on the sensor, we pick up a really high dynamic range of forces that's applied, and we sense force per finger, so we know exactly how much force each individual finger is applying and the shape of that force. Um, we're also p able to pick up any object. Our technology is not capacitive. It's actually purely force sensitive. Um, so I can pick up this water bottle as an example. Um, I can see the actual force points at the bottom of the bottle, all of these uh, points. Um, I can pick up a paintbrush. Um, or a, or, a or a stylus, I can pick up like the back of the stylus. And so it, basically the technology opens up a lot of new possibilities for ways to interact with your devices. And it's also um, not sensitive to water, to moisture. It can, you can operate it with gloves. Um, so it really kind of enables lots of new applications. Um, and one of the things we're showing here uh, at iZone for the first time is the ability to integrate with displays. Uh, so we can integrate with flexible OLED displays. This is uh, our sensor actually underneath a flexible OLED. And you can see we get full multi-touch with force per finger. Uh, we can also integrate with uh, e-ink displays. So here we have a sensor below an e-ink display. Um, and we're sensing right through that, that sensor or that display. So it looks like uh, mm -hmm. it's pretty versatile, right? It could be Very used versatile. in many, many different applications. So yeah. tell us uh, like, you know, what, what you're targeting initially because I mean I think as you're showcasing it could be used as a key keyboard right. or on top of a display um, for sure uh, and, and it seems like the market's very interesting now mm -hmm. touch being uh, used yeah. very widely so tell us a little bit about what uh, you're trying to get from uh, what products you're trying to mm -hmm. work on and what you're trying to get out of ISO yeah so in terms of the types of products we can integrate into um, there's uh, kind of standalone trackpads and, and, and interfaces uh, this is our, our, our own device, which, which we're shipping directly to consumers, which is kind of a versatile music slash art slash gaming uh, interface. So this is a piano. You can take this off, um, replace it with uh, an MPC controller uh, for music production. We have keyboards, as an example. So this is a QWERTY keyboard with uh, tactile um, buttons. And this will work as an iPad accessory, as a laptop accessory, etc. Um, so that's one class of devices that we can support is like a standalone device. Um, the other area um, is um, trackpads. So we have uh, reference designs for various size trackpads to replace, uh, you know, replace this capacitive touch sensor with a force sensitive uh, touch sensor. And we can do full um, uh, palm rest. We can do the full surface. Uh, and then the third area is display integration. So we're um, exploring partnerships with um, display OEMs that are looking to add force sensitivity to their uh, to their phones and, and their tablets, et cetera. Okay, excellent. Uh, tell us a little bit about how your experience being at iZone. I know it started this morning, but uh, how's the reception been so far and, and what kind of feedback um, you're getting? It's been fantastic. I mean, the booth's been full all day and we've been just kind of uh, just nonstop uh, <laughs> answering lots of questions. I think uh, n no one's really ever seen this type of technology before, so we're getting a lot of a lot of like, oh my god, I can't believe you can sense this <laughs> kind of responses. Um, so it's been great. Okay, excellent. Uh, good luck. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.